Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Today, we'll be talking about Enzoi and Canvas and how them together will impact your game and gameplay. Let's take a look. Okay, here we have gameplay of how you will work in Canvas when you wanna upload one of your creations up to Canvas. And once you upload it, people will be able to download it and use your asset if you so choose. So this here is kind of the process. You would um, save it, pick a pose, write her name, kind of write a description, put you as the author. You would then add in any contributors, say you and your friend did it, or maybe you had a different asset and that how we'll go with that. And then here, as you see, it would be officially on the Canvas store for someone to download and use for themselves. There'll be a whole bunch of options. Canvas and Enzoi are basically gonna be a tag team here. They're gonna be very much in cahoots. And you see here, this is how you would download an asset. You would then go into your new items area, hit apply, and then now that person there is available for you to use. And then you go in the studio and get into more options. So this here is just a full on exactly how it would be. When it comes to Enzoi and Canvas, this is going to be a tandem together. So this is kind of what it would look like when you first are getting prepared to upload into Canvas once you're done with one of your creations. You'll be fully done. You'll be fully happy with what you created. Everything will be in line. I love this outfit. I love the jacket. I love the white um, crop that this female creation has on with the shades, the hair. Great. Everything is great. Um, this is where you would be as far as at the end for a creation. You wanna be sure that when you upload on the canvas, you're happy with your creation because someone may download that asset to use in their game. That's very, very key and very important. This is the first step. The next step would be to take a screenshot. As you see here, all your assets that you had from your creation is there. You have the creation, um, you see the jacket, the head, things of that nature. So what happens is once you upload it to this first step, it's gonna individually take some of the best screenshots from your creation that will then go onto the canvas store for it to be sellable. And these here are the assets and I guess how people will see it when they search for it. That's how you take a screenshot. That'll be the next step. And you see all those empty screens there. We will get to that later. But this would be your second step. You would do the screenshot as you see where the um, finger cursor is there. And you will go on so, so forth and so on. So this here is a very key point. Very key point. Now, the next key is select a pose. This will be the main pose that people see when they research or go into Canvas and pick an asset and they see yours. This is what they will see as far as which pose. I will show a couple of the poses, but um, you have about, let's see here, let's count quickly how many you would have. You'd have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, about nine there, poses to choose from. There'll probably be more once the game gets into early access. There'll probably even more once the game gets into full release. Remember, they're going to be putting into this game updates for at least, as the head dev has said and overall team has said, for about 20 plus years. So we have a lot coming here and we're already getting a lot. So we're winning either way. But yeah, you was like a pose. That's next key. From there, this here is one of the poses I thought looked cool, very feminine, and I thought it would go well with the character. Um, as you see, she has a very sporty look. 
with the um, leggings and everything else. It is really, really a great fit. It is really, really a great asset we have here. And um, this creation is one of the better ones and was a great one to showcase. Again, it's just one of the um, poses that you can choose from. Like I said, there was nine, but I think if you scroll down, it could be more. So, you know, um, again, that's very important to keep in mind that Enzo is always giving you options. Enzo is always finding the best option for you as a gamer. And I think we're just in very good hands with this dev team. I really, really do. On to the next one here. The next key would be to, once you're satisfied with the pose and everything, you then will take a actual photo of this pose. And this is going to be, again, the main asset that they see when they go on the canvas. Let's say a random person is looking for an asset to come in their game. They will choose yours if they see and they like. So this, or remember, take the photo of the best one you want because when you upload to Canvas, which is basically their marketplace where someone can go and download the character that you created and use them in their game, you want to make sure that you have the best photo you want of your Zoe so that they can do well on the marketplace there that they will have on Canvas. Enzo and Canvas basically are a team here. Very seamless team, it feels like as well. From there, make sure to press save. Sign is, you would press save, go from there. I think it's important to go through these steps individually because what will happen is sometimes you're so excited trying to, trying to get your creation out. You're not sure exactly, oh, how to do this, how to do this. If you ever get stuck anywhere, these videos can be more of a guide as well to once you get onto each step and know what to do. You're gonna press save, make sure your, your pose, everything's in line, because this is now one of the final steps. It's a few more steps here, but this is one of the key final steps with your creation. And you don't wanna be going back and forth and wasting time and then it becomes no fun. So before you get to this stage, make sure everything you like is there. Once you have uploaded it and you've pressed save, this is the next screen here. It will have all the pictures in there as you see from the pose. And now it would allow you to fill out all the information. This here was just basic info that was typed in, you know, cool girl, she's a cool girl. But obviously for your creations, you want to give them a name. You also want to give a, um, description that is very important to give them a um description as well and and make sure that the author is of course you that's very key as well so you want to make sure here that you have all this filled out to the way you want it to be because in the marketplace store this is where they will see it and they will get a understanding for the character that they're going to be downloading as asset Make sure you put it that you're the author. Next one, make sure you put that you're the author because again, this is going on to a marketplace. Canvas is a seamless marketplace with Enjoy to make sure that you can enjoy every part of this game with character building and other fun things to do. But you have to make sure that you give the credit to yourself and don't let somebody claim your, your work. So it's very important with this hole here. Now for the next step, you would have to upload it. You would now, once everything is done and you're set, you've added all of your, you're the author. You've also made sure to add anyone else that you feel has been a part of the process. And now you're ready to upload. This is a very key part because it's one of the final steps. You really can't be going back and forth here because again, it's going to make the game probably a bit unenjoyable. So again, this key part is here now. Cause once you upload, you have everything filled out. Your name, her description. Um, you maybe want to do a hashtag of some sort if it's there and allowable to use the hashtag. And then you can then simply press upload and actually see what happens. Um, this is really cool because when, when, once you hit upload, you have a um, full on character. 
that now will be basically be in the marketplace. So for some people that like to share their creations, this year will be a wonderful place to do it. It'd be really, really great. And this here is what it would look like once your Zoe is uploaded on Canvas, the marketplace. It would be there with other great crea creations, excuse me, and it would be all set there. You see there, she's like the sporty type with the pink leggings, the um, high rise um, white crop. And then she has on the like windbreaker jacket and shades. Again, all the colors look real, very, very authentic. They're all popping. Um, I think it's a win-win uh, here. This is where your creation would go once you're finished. This is where the, um, I guess the name of your uh, Zoya would go, whoever that is. Um, I guess, you know, for this creation, we're gonna use uh, Cool Girl, but still, this is kind of what it would be like the f final form. It would be in the marketplace with others, all different colors and nationalities and hairstyles, hair types. And you can really create a wonderful story within the game. There is no point to uh, wait for other games because this one here is very special. This is really, really, they have um, done it justice. And um, this is really, really well done as far as a great way to add another layer of gameplay. Like, hey, I can make a creation and maybe upload it onto the marketplace because uh, people do like to share their creations. I think it's a wonderful way to do it. This is how it would go. You would click onto the marketplace. You would look around. You would see her there. You would simply pay for the asset. And this is what it would look like if you went to go purchase it. If you saw a creation, it would again be available here, pop up. You would then have to hit it, go like that. But again, if this was your creation, this is how it would look on the marketplace. It would show you as the, um, creator there now you see it says you back in when you were in Enzoi because you will have your name named already so they will just automatically do that so again your author is there if there were any contributors that would, that will also get mentioned but it's a really great way to express your creative side it's very very intriguing this here is a another creation of what it would look like if you were um, going to be picking something that was not your creation. It would show here the information. There would be a couple of the best screenshots that is for this um, female character that can be used as a asset in the game. You could definitely use this. You would then go there again, go to the download part, and you would then have it onto your game in Zoy. And you can then use it in any other scenarios that you see fit or just gain, I guess the best word is inspiration for it. So yeah, I think this has a lot of really good um, positives to it because it seems like in Zoy and the canvas marketplace is very seamless and that's very, very important for us to enjoy. So this here would be the next screen you would see once you have picked an asset or creations, you will then have to go into the press the new item button. That is basically that uh, light blue and like little button there that is um has like the underwear and um, t-shirt on it right there in your um, upper right corner. So you would then go into there and just briefly get prepared things of that nature with your new zoi when i say briefly is because by the time we get to that point we kind of know what we want to do and like how we want to do it with our zoi so it's probably uncommon to expect it's going to take that much longer for you to dress them because again you're going to pick out an asset that you already like so the person has already done the work for you so once you hit that it's going to come up to this one and it's going to have the other creations that you have made and it's going to have the ones that 
you have purchased. So basically you would hit on it and then it would appear. Very simple, very smooth. Where's the way to get it and to download it to the way you want it so then you can use it. So that's very key there. You would just go from the new item, hit it, and that would be the creation. Now in the next screen, you would press apply. And this is basically what, what that screen would be. It would kind of give you the layout of what everything is. Are you sure you're gonna make this change? Is that what you wanna do? And we're gonna press forward with it. And that is so forth and so on. Again, not the most intense part, but again, one of the next steps, you wanna make sure you don't press anything else. You wanna press the button in the middle there, not the other ones, and then you'll be fine. Obviously, this will be in whatever language that you prefer, just during this gameplay here. This is like what you see, that's why we also applied here the English subtitles at the bottom here. So again, you would hit apply, and then from there, everything would get wrong as this creation would now appear on your screen. Now, that creation that you downloaded from the Canvas Marketplace is now here. It's now in your game. It's now one of your Zoys. You can now use it how you see fit. You can um, do whatever you feel with it from this point on as far as doing different photo shoots or anything like that. That's why in one of my other previous videos, we talked about in Zoe Studio because you'll probably be going there for some type of photo shoots if that's something that you really, really like to do. This here is a another part of it. Now, once you've done picked that creation and downloaded and you want to have some fun with it with some photos and different backgrounds, you can do that. You can even change its clothing, all that kind of stuff. You really will have the freedom with the asset once you download it. That's for, That's why that's why that's why for the creations that you do and you upload the canvas be sure because people will be downloading it and may tweak it you may see your creation in a gameplay video or in um reddit or something like that and it look very similar because they probably got it from the canvas marketplace that's why it's very important to label it how you see fit so credit can get done properly and so forth and so on i want to thank everyone for joining me for this breakdown of Enzoi and Canvas. Um, I think we should just let some gameplay loop of what we all saw today so we all can keep it fresh in our minds. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel. I will see you on the next one. Take care.